Hello. I'm going to do another video of this painting, um, Creation of Man. This time we're going to be looking at more of the, um, some of the technical detail of why Michelangelo put a lot of this, uh, these images in the back. If you look here, it's a bunch of like images that was really unexplainable. But I'm going to try to explain it to you guys now. Some of the videos I touched on this already. But if you look at this here baby Jesus, we see the wings here, right? And then we also see wings like are in marble that he's laying on. Because this is supposed to be like a marble that Michelangelo created. It's not really it's supposed to be a painting. It's supposed to be like a marble. But anyway, you see these here are like marble wings that baby Jesus is lying on. Plus he has the wings up here. Then if you turn the painting clockwise, 90 degrees, if you look here, we say this is um, David, you know, coming back this way. He's fighting Goliath, which Goliath has the hat on here. He hit Goliath in the head with a stone. That's why you see this mark here. This is the nose of Goliath here, the eyes and the arm of Goliath. He's falling. You can see like the marks where he's like his arm is like fluttering, kind of like he got his fist in the, his hand in the ball like a fist because David just hit him in the head with this rock with a slingshot. So if you look here, the slingshot is here with the rock inside here. He's getting ready to hit him again. So we got these are the, the wings carved out of marble of baby Jesus. We got this mark of the slingshot. And then you wonder, what are these marks here? So if you turn the painting uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise, those marks turn to the hat of this, this black guy here. If you look carefully here, this is the nose of the black guy, the eye, the mouth. And the black guy got his hand up, you know what I'm saying, over his head. So this is the hat here. This is the black man here with the eye, the nose. Because Michelangelo hit a lot of black people in here because the Pope wouldn't accept it if he showed that it was all black people. So he, he painted as if they were actually um, white people, but they're actually, you know, a lot of black people hidden in here. So basically, the black man's hand comes up, but it looks like it stops here. He's probably raising his hand, his fist over his hand. That's why the different in color, like you see the light foot here, and you see a, a, a darker foot here. Because look at the toe here, look at the toe here. Michelangelo got the toe a little bit longer, but it's pretty close. And even if you look at Adam, the toe is a little longer, but it's a little close. So why would this toe be so much longer than here? You know what I'm saying? Because Michelangelo is giving you a hint that this is, it looks like the foot, but it's really, it's not a foot. This is this guy's hand raised over his head as black, black power. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what that is. That's why the, the change in color too. So we got this hat here. That's what this mark, this, these lines here, or this figure is here. It's a hat that the black guy got on. He's raising his hand over his head. Um, I guess like black power. So basically, we're going to go back to here. So we did these marks here. We did this the slingshot. We did this with the hat. And then if you look here, you wonder what this mark is. This is, or this image, this is the foot of this um, the sheep. Because David used to tend to his father's sheep. This is the eye of the sheep. This is the mouth of the sheep. This is the ear of the sheep. He has a sheep over his shoulder, to, over the left shoulder, to let you know exactly who he is. And then when you come down, that uh, sheep's foot is here, and the sheep's tail is here. So this is actually a tail of the sheep, and this is actually the foot of the sheep, and this is the, the head of the sheep. So um, David got the sheep dra um, draped over his chest and down where you see the leg and the tail. So then when you look at this part here that comes out here, this is actually a placenta, right? Where you see this feet is here in the fetal position with the foot here, the hand is here, the eye is here, the mouth is here, nose area, head, the back, and the arm is here, and a leg is here, the foot is here. So you see a fetal position, but this is actually the uh, placenta and this is the umbilical cord cut. That's why it stops here. You see the light part here is where it stops. So this is not one continuous piece. That's why it's different color too. This is a little lighter than this. So it stops. So here is the umbilical cord and it's connected to this uh, placenta. And then like I said, this here is the fetus with the eye, 
the mouth, the arm, the leg. So this is the fetus. So then you look at this area here that's actually cut off. This is the cloak or the robe that Virgin Mary wears, which is here. She's actually shown naked here. But her cloak, this is the head part that she puts on her head. And the rest just drapes over her body. That's why you see like a little face in here. Oh, but over the head. But this is um, Virgin Mary's cloak that goes over the head. It comes down. And like I said, this is the... Um, the umbilical cord on his placenta because Virgin Mary had baby Jesus or Jesus. That's why it's all connected. Virgin Mary and Jesus, the fetus. So I guess maybe this fetus is baby Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, this is the placenta. That's what he's showing you here. And then the umbilical cord, which is cut, is here. And then this would be the cloak or the robe that Virgin Mary wears over the head. It comes down this way. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Take it easy. Bye.